For anyone wanting to learn how to program in assembly on an Apple II computer, I'm going to uh, give a demonstration here of how to use Apple's uh, own toolkit assembler. The uh, disk here is edasm.dsk, which is out on Asimov, and I'll be uploading it to the uh, Apple II Facebook group. And uh, this is the Apple Win emulator, um, which I will boot now. Then to get into the editor, you just use the uh, dash command. Dash edasm dot system. It prompts for the date. And drops us into the editor. Um, a question mark will give you a help file, a list of commands to use. Um, CAT just shows a uh, catalog just like uh, DOS does. I have included a uh, program on here that I wrote, a really short one called Check 65C. It's just a routine to uh, tell what kind of processor you have. Um, so we'll load that into memory. L will list the contents. Um, <clears throat> add will add lines. It would add an additional line number 14. You can edit a line. Um, now we're in the edit mode on line 10. Um, this field is called uh, the label field. This field is called uh, the instruction field, and then this is the operand of the instruction. Um, if I just arrow across, these fields are actually only separated by one space, which is kind of quirky with this editor, but it acts as a tab, so even though we go one space, we tab. Uh, so it's uh, a little hard to use. Control D will delete a character. Um, you can uh, Control I will insert a character um, or insert a series of characters. Um, when you're done with the line, you can just hit return. Now I will insert a line in line two to define a uh, variable. Um, I'll use count space EQU as an equate statement and we'll make that the location of the actual I'll see I'll back up control D. I guess I won't. Let's do it again. Edit line two. Now here's another quirk because the control D is now visible, so we have to delete it with control D. Go back. <laughs> I move over. Control I gets me in the edit mode, and it will return back over to where uh, the end of the line is. This is just really weird, but anyway. So now we list that. Now we've defined the count subroutine as address FDED. So now we'll edit the last line and arrow and change. We'll control D, 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 and then we'll just add count C O U T. 
now we are using the label count defined instead of uh, the actual address. Now we can save. We can save it. You can actually say a different name or whatever, but we'll save it. Oh, well, here, we'll save it to sample. Now the command to assemble is ASM in the file name, but I'll show you what happens. I get a buffer error because I still have the source code in memory. It's a safety feature that they added with the last version of this. In the past, you just lose whatever you had in memory, even though you may not have saved the changes, so it's, it's just a safety feature. Um, you have to type new to clear memory. Now you can assemble your recently saved file. And there's a it's a two pass assembler. There we go. Um says no errors. Um catalog will show that we have now put assembled to a binary file sample dot zero if you you can also specify a name of the comma and an output file um, but that's a very simple uh, demonstration of how to edit and uh, assemble a program thank you